We're here with Casey Shade, a junior on the South Dakota men's track and field team, talking about the 2012 season. And uh, Casey, obviously this is the Coyotes' first year in the Summit League. What are some uh, expectations as we join a new conference? I think we just have to be as competitive as we possibly can. We just have to step in like, we, you know, we haven't been here before, but we have to step in like we have. I mean, we have to show SDSU what we can do in North Dakota State. I think we got to step in like we've been here before and just compete and see what happens. Uh, well, some good returners back, but also good freshmen and some newcomers coming in for the men. Do you think it's a pretty balanced team, or how do you kind of see the team developing in terms of... I think I think it's just about right. We have just about the experience we need at the upper class so we can help. We have a lot of talented uh, freshmen coming in, and we have some JUCO kids that came in. So I think our balance for our team is really well between our experience and our youth and talent. Mm -hmm. What are some goals for the team uh, as we go into a new league? And obviously, the outdoor season, uh, we're eligible to uh, advance to the championships. What are some goals the team has kind of you know, has on their mind as we go into the year? We would like to be as competitive as we can indoor, but we'd also like our outdoor season to be huge. Um, we'd like to get as many people as we can to that first round of West Regional, and then if we can, get people to that national meet, as many as we can. You know, um, We're going to go to a lot of big meets, so we're going to have plenty of opportunities to do that. Uh, we're here with Chad Pinkelman, a senior on the South Dakota men's track and field team, to talk about the 2012 Coyote season that begins Saturday at the alumni meet. Uh, Chad, let's talk about the team a little bit. First season in the Summit League, what are some expectations uh, that the men have going into the, a new conference? Uh, the track team, I think both men's and women's, like to, to think of as leaders for the USD athletics. I mean, we did a really good job in the Great West, and I think we kind of won the Great West first title and it's a goal to do the same thing in the Summit League. So we want to be real competitive, and we're not going to be happy getting you know, third, fourth place as a team, anything. I mean, we want to be strong competitors. How would you view the team overall? Obviously, there's some good returners back, but there's a, a good group of newcomers coming in, too. Is it a pretty balanced team, or how would you kind of view it uh, maybe in terms of uh, how the team is kind of built in terms of different events? Yeah, we got a, we got a lot of young guys, a lot of really talented young guys. Uh, our older guys are, we don't have quite as few of them, but I think, I think we got a lot of really good leaders, and I think our leaders will score their, score their points. But I think, I think we're going to rely pretty heavily on the young guys, too. I think they'll, they'll do really well. We're really excited about going into the Summit League. I think mm -hmm. uh, um, it's an opportunity that we've been waiting for for quite some time. You know, I, I, I think we're probably not as aware of Summit League competition as maybe we should be, and that's why we need to kind of put our toe in the water a little bit and uh, uh, take it a, a week at a time, a practice at a time, and hopefully uh, uh, see what the level of competition is and hopefully we can rise to it. Uh, I really feel like we have some kids that are are, are Summit League, uh, NCAA Division I type kids, and uh, uh, hopefully you know those kids will start showing up here pretty soon. Uh, we got to be patient with our indoor season and patient with our kids because uh, we are definitely uh, uh, a young group. We've got some, some older kids that are pretty good, but the uh, majority of our kids are in the freshman and sophomore class, and uh, I think patience is going to be a real critical thing for us too. Uh, I'm not the most patient guy in the world, but uh, this is one of those things where we really need to be patient. <clears throat> Uh, what uh, what would you view, kind of view as a um, some strengths on the team? Uh, maybe just some events or areas that you think are are pretty well, strong, or do you think it's a pretty balanced group? Or what would you say? I, I think our goal every year in the 27 years I've been here is that we have you know pretty competitive conference type competitors in every event, and I think this year you know we're there. We certainly have some events that look like they can be. Um, a little bit uh, uh, more successful at the NCA level. Uh, I think our throws, uh, even though our throwers are young, uh, we've got uh, four or five really nice throwers and, and uh, in the indoor events, the shot put and the weight throw, and then when we get to the outdoor events, um, you know, we look at the discus, we've got four great discus throwers, uh, uh, hammer throwers, shot putters, and obviously a, a pretty competent javelin thrower too. So I think the throws would be a, a great area. Uh, we've got some talented jumpers, but um, they're young, and that's going to take some time with our, with our jumpers. Uh, we've got some vaulters that have been very successful. They're kids that uh, are here for their first year at the U, but they've come from junior colleges, and I think that they're going to be pretty good. Uh, uh, so I, I like our field events a lot. On the track, you know, we don't quite have a lot. Of, we don't have as much depth as we would like, but what we do have, our quality is pretty good. So uh, our hurdlers, I think, are pretty good, even though they're young. Our sprinters are pretty good. We've had pretty good sprint success here. Uh, I think our middle distance people, even though we're maybe a little thin there, and then I think our distance kids, uh, um, 
coming off a pretty successful cross country season are, are going to be very very good too. In fact, uh, I can't wait. I mean, I'm pretty excited about uh, uh, finding out where we're at so that uh, we can uh, uh, make some improvements and uh, move out throughout the year and, and be. Uh, uh, by the time we get to the Summit Indoor League and the Summit Outdoor League and the National uh, Regionals and those types of things, I think we're going to be pretty well represented.